Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 uh, video. For this one we're going to continue our series for doing a massive gauntlet style tournament of all the StarCraft 2 bots on the uh, ladder. So last we left off we saw Nikobot Learns defeating Sun Tzu Bot and our next opponent will be Rookie Bot which is a Ty Terran Bot written in Python. Let's see if there's any information we have here. Empty bio. But it is written by AI Labs NL. And we'll see how this goes. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Right into it as it slowly loads. Okay, we will be on Pillars of Gold. Looks like Obs is having trouble picking up StarCraft. Nope, there we go. Perfecto, perfecto. Thanks, Singbama, with the 300 bits if I miss that. <laughs> I would bet I did miss that last stream. And there we go, pulling us over here. All right, Nickbot learns. So he's played this opponent before. The best score he had was 1.6 million, which is even better than the 1.4 million he had versus uh, his previous opponents. And I think that's a different mutation chance. So maybe that's something that's not set by the author, but something that's um, calculated somehow. <laughs> maybe I don't even know what mutation chance means, so I will not continue talking about that. Maybe it was a chance that uh, when it plays a game that it figures out something better than its uh, most ideal. Um, you know, than its current most ideal situation. So basically a chance of getting a higher score than its previous best. Anyways, let's bring up the production tab here. We have a nice little build already here out of Rookie Bot going Depot Barracks into Command Center and then followed by another barracks meanwhile this build that we've seen out of nicobot before except this time with the fourth barracks no is that ninja bay yeah ninja bay yeah so depot barracks followed by uh two more barracks and i can't remember depot barracks whatever the depot timings aren't bad and triple racks and then very early inch base before he even has a gas to upgrade from them but he does get the 1-1 one, one upgrades, so these Injibades are put to use, and fairly early in the game. And finally, an Orbital Command. Expansion out of Rookie Bot here. And it looks like it's going to be a gasless build, so very Halby Mineral Drone, Mineral Drill-esque. If you don't get supply blocked, and you constantly build units, and you keep expanding your economy, You'll find that you can beat many, many players. Not speaking because I feel a sneeze is possibly coming. No. False alarm. Which is the worst kind of sneeze. Does anyone enjoy not having a sneeze come when they have the sensations there? Besides viewers of a video of someone trying to stream the game. Uh, nice healthy marine count there. Let's look at the Unisab. You can see it's a full 22 marines. 24 now against a half that count in marines with a couple reapers. Now we've seen the reapers do fairly well in marine versus marine fights with uh, Nick Bot learns. Don't underestimate how handy it is to make marines fly up in the air when they're supposed to be fighting. And Rookie Bot's moving out. So this could be trouble for Nick, but uh, the marine count is still more than double. Good uh, 20 worker lead here. Oh, nice little high ground position though. I, I just realized I was on 2x speed. Let's knock this back down. Oh, and perfect grenades. Uh, yeah, and all of a sudden that 20 marine lead did not pay off at all. Maybe it was more like a 15 marine lead by the time they got across the map, but beautiful defense. Perhaps a little lucky on the timing to fight down the ramp. I don't think that was planned. But, uh, you know, luck is part of the game. Okay. 
Okay, we do have a third base coming down, uh, Nick Bot learns. Um, rookie Bot actually staying on two bases and not continuing to make workers, right? Let's bring up the production tab again. Yeah, this is only Marines on the production tab here, not even getting the orbital as natural. Um, and this could be due to the fact that his barracks is spending all of his money. Like if he's just buying whatever he can, whenever he can, then he probably never gets up to 150 minerals to build an orbital. And if he's prioritizing Marines over SCVs, then maybe there's never a point in time where he gets 50 minerals and all these guys are active. Let me just pause for a sec. Because he's at 50 minerals and all these guys are active. <laughs> And he's still not making any SCVs. So the SCVs have just stopped. I guess he's like, just get to a certain number and go. Another big fight we missed out on, but uh, another great fight for Nick Bot learns. Widow Mines are on the field now. That's going to be trouble. Boom. Reaper grenades, like we were going to blow them up. When you pop them, you only make the body parts fly, or you can make the entire body fly. Uh, the trickle of marines coming across the map. Let's see if we get another regroup mechanic here. Okay, it looks like they're starting to regroup again. That's good. Nope. Kind of yes, kind of no. I think every time he sees a unit across the map, he sends out the marines again. So there needs to be a break in this trickle for him to actually pile up. Otherwise, this trickle is going to leads to his own doom. Meanwhile, we know that Nickbot Learns does tech up, so this isn't going to be Marines forever, right? We're getting the upgrades, we got the 0-1 upgrades. No attack upgrade yet. But if we look on the production tab, we can see our armories coming down, factories, Hellions are on the, on the list, as are Marauders. He did get those two early inge bays, but actually didn't stick on the bio upgrades. Dick Bob Learns is certainly good at spending all of his money, which is nice. Probably builds more production than he needs, but that's better than floating more resources. If you can spend all your money, that's awesome. Another orbital on the way. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we're seeing add-ons. Okay. So Marauders, okay, and a factory. So we're, there is a stage two to, uh, to Rookie Bot. An armory going down as well. So we got Marauders, something in the realm of siege of uh, factory tech, possibly siege tanks. As you see, three factories. However, he has taken more gas as well, but that uh, worker count is not rising. So that original 30 workers is where he cuts it off. So if the author of Rookie Bot is listening, I think whatever... Uh, code you have to instigate your your tech up to tech labs and factories it should also be code to up your maximum uh, scv counts to from 30 up to i don't know 60 to 80 and continue to expand obviously to support that many workers just a nice full production tab here planetary fortress Armor plus two on the infantry, although the plus one attack is still not complete, which is really important in these bio versus bio fights. Random biking on the way. So we can see what the intended targets were for these widow mines as they have approached and blocked these expansions, which Rookie Bot probably has no intention of taking, but if he did, he would be super annoyed. Going up to star ports as well. So we've got three tech lab factories, whole bunch of tech lab fa uh, barracks, and now tech lab star ports as well, which allows him to get siege tanks. And that could be a huge game changer. If there's one thing we haven't seen out of Nick Bot learns, it's siege tanks. And if there's one thing an army of Reapers and Marines and Hellions would be vulnerable to, it would be siege tanks. As long as he can get sieged up in time and can protect those siege tanks, then you should be okay. 
If the siege tank's gonna get caught by itself. I don't even know where the siege tank is. It's still, it's still sieged up at home. Yeah. If it gets caught by itself, then the marauders will probably just walk right over it. Ooh. Speaking of bots who don't dodge their own Reaper grenades, Nickbot Learns is not one of them. Smart enough to not step on his own grenade. And yeah, as interesting as this game is, I kind of feel like the writing's on the wall just looking at the economies alone. I mean, compositions and the fights are interesting, but we still have 30 workers, we still have two bases. He must be down to, yeah, to a single mineral patch in his main, which means he's on only nine patches of economy and not even fully saturated on these eight here. So bringing up the income tab, yeah, <laughs> 2,500 plus mineral income for Nickbot Learns to a mere 1,000 for Rookie Bot. So I think we will speed this up and we'll go to 4x, maybe slow it down for the final fight as I'm sure there will be one more, one more good fight. But uh, yeah, I think this game's over. When does this army decide to move out? Oh, rookie bot to make it a volunteered suicide. Okay, slow down here. <laughs> Reapers is making everything jump. This isn't even an army fight. This is just a Reaper fight. Next wave of grenades should be available soon. Actually able to defeat the army with Reapers alone. And the Hellions have joined the fight, but Reaper Hellion versus Siege Tank is not good. However, when it's versus one Siege Tank, it's just fine. Another one on the low ground. Gets off a couple nice hits, but it will fall. And with that, I think we will go up to 8x and just make sure that Nicobot doesn't actually crash. Which is, I believe, the final hope for Rookie Bot. Very nice bot. Very clean opener. Nice, I like the opening build order. Makes a lot of Marines. A little un unlucky in the first engagement, but with a 20 Marine lead, he could have easily won it there. Um, and there is a transition built when we saw factories and tech labs, but uh, a little more development needed to get beyond that early game. Got to keep that uh, SCV count going. Got to keep uh, making orbitals. But good showing at a rookie bot. And Nickbot learns, Nickbot yet again has a three win bot. The majority of the wins in this tournament has been one of the bots by Nick Knock. But uh, let's bring it back to the AI arena ladder here. And we are on rookie bot going down. Next opponents for Nick Bot Learns will be Generic Bot by Boublier, which is a Python bot. Based on generic functions. And that is the way to do it. You want this bot to continue to grow. You want to keep things very generic. Uh, I've made that mistake with my bot, and now it's very hard to add features to it. So a lot of the effort I'm putting into my bot nowadays is to make it more generic rather than add new features so that in the future I can add new features. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and just hop right into this one. So Nickbot Learns versus Generic Bot. Now with each win by Nickbot Learns, he'll be facing a, a, a higher ranked ladder opponent each time. So the chances of him continuing on to victory of this Gauntlet's tournament is, it's zero. Yeah, let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, the level of play, you may not notice him from game to game, but it's going to keep getting stronger and stronger until if you come back to watch these games, it'll look quite weak. Um, but it looks like he's also had a very high score versus generic bot of 1.6 million almost. Two 
too little supply. Generic bot. You spelt two incorrectly. It's T W O. That's right, right? You know, Kanye West actually admitted to the fact he doesn't know the difference between T W O, T O O, and T O. And, uh, like, I'm not, I'm not picking on generic bots author here. Whoever these authors are, most of them are out of VU, right? English is second language. I give uh, as a valid excuse for any English error, obviously. But Kanye, come on. Speaking how that's difficult to understand. And at least if it's difficult to understand, you don't admit it, right? Like, I know a lot of people who can't tell time by looking at a clock. They don't know how the hour hand and minute hands work. But they don't they don't admit it. <laughs> they don't let other people know this. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this production tab up. In the bottom left we do have the blue Terran. It's the new opponent. It is a uh, generic bot. And it looks like yet another mass barracks marine bot. It seems like the first bot a lot of authors like to build are Terran Marine bots. Which I guess kind of makes sense, because as a StarCraft player, usually the first race you try out is Terran. I guess it's just more familiar, you know, playing humans and having structures that kind of make sense to you, rather than like swarmy larva and stuff. So it looks like Mikba is lifting off, trying to find space to add an add-on. It maybe looks maybe one cell away on each direction, and if it can't find it, it just gives up. But maybe this guy... We'll be able to do it. Maybe I'll know to move one to the left, and then I'll make room for an add-on. Uh, decided to go three engineering bays this time. Yeah, you know, last time he tried two engineering bays with double upgrades, and they tried two engineering bays with a single upgrade. Now he's doing triple engineering bay with no upgrades. <laughs> uh, generic bud is actually going super greedy, going all the way up to four bases. Uh, he is taking gas, so he probably has intention to use it on something at some point. Um, part of the reason he's able to afford all of these bases is that he's not spending that 150 on um, orbitals. He's also not going beyond four barracks. Okay, finally, a oh, factory now. Okay, so five barracks, a whole ton of bases, and a factory. Interesting. I mean, this is certainly going to pay off in the long run. Um, Nickbot was Nickbot Zerg was definitely adverse to attacking, but I think we've seen early attacks out of uh, Nickbot learns. I'm not sure. He still definitely takes a more defensive stance. He usually likes to respond to attacks coming in, but if he allows this to continue, I can see this getting way out of hand, especially if Generic Bot keeps a large worker count. And at 78, I would say it's already large. So this could turn into like constant production of troops that could come just eventually overwhelm even what could be better troops of uh, Nickbot learns. Now he's just like, F it. We'll just throw two command centers here, because why not? And we're not just seeing Marines either. We're seeing some little bit of tech. Obviously, the Marines are 0-0, zero, zero, no combat shields, no stim. But we do have medevacs, so that's something to go along with that. The amount of production he has is very limited, though. He can build one Stargate unit, the factory's being unused, and then five Marines at a time. And on this many bases and this many workers, this is going to be the problem here, right? He's just going to be pooling up resources instead of taking full advantage of all these bases. I mean, it does give him the resources to keep expanding more, but eventually you want to turn all these expansions into money and turn all that money into troops. And uh, the last step of that is not the case right now. So one missing ingredient to this greed overwhelming Nick Bot learns. So I still think this is anyone's game here. I think Nick Bot learns will probably take better fights. Uh, we do have Stim on the way. We do have the plus one armor. Let's see if he got the attack upgrade this time. He did not. 
But he does have combat shield done and stim on the way. Uh, no medevax, so stim could be a uh, more of a con than a pro. Depends if he stems his whole army to death like he's done in the past. Um, but his reapers have looked really strong. Just so good on the grenades. Uh, just, just keeping the opponent's army up in the air instead of down on the ground shooting. The opponent armies haven't watched enough action movies where you can actually fly through the air and shoot your guns at the same time. Uh, I guess this means an attack is incoming. Here we go. A bunch of 0, zero marines, but a ton of medevacs. Oh, that could be trouble. Unless all the medevacs die. Oh, in a perfect position to fight on. Nickbot. Well, as Nickbot learns is losing this fight, he's getting pushed back into a better position for himself, where now the bottleneck is hurting generic bot, but does it even matter at this point? There's just nothing left, right? A cyclone and a handful of marauders? That's not going to cut through marines and medevacs. I'm just realizing I'm on 2x speed again. This is the most informal cast of a tournament ever. It's not even a tournament. Uh, so fabulous attack by generic bot. It's getting a great position at the start. And where it worked against him at the end... Uh, by that point, all the Reapers were dead, all the Marines were dead, and it was just Marauders and a single Cyclone. So, very spammy on the chat, but it's a little interesting to see why he's attacking at a location. So he's got the location where he's attacking to and the reason why. So I'm attacking here because they shot me first. That's the excuse I always gave my parents when I got in a fight. I don't escape fights. Not my fault. Triple expanding to your opponent's third. And let's go ahead and go back to the faster speed. So it looks like Nickbot is going to be stuck at three wins with both of his bots. He may have another in the ladder, I'm unsure, but I believe those are his only two. We will find out at some point if there's a third higher ELO version of Nickbot, but uh, congratulations on going 6-2, and two. I think that's pretty impressive. And like, basically all your games except for your first one are against higher ELO bots, so... Everyone's only expected to win one game if everything goes based on you know, ranking. Will this SCV get the final kill? Oh. Uh oh. Okay, I just realized that there's. I left the time up. <laughs> this is not a draw. For a moment there, I was wondering, <laughs> will it be able to kill the last structure? All right, so we have a new champion who will be moving on in this tournament. He is just has a mere forty-five bots or so left to defeat. Good luck, generic bot. But uh, I think I can't. How long have we been recording for? 23 minutes. Yeah, that's good. We'll call out the end of this video. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.